these two are top loading so this one here is the top loading adapter which uh, we've been working with Siemens on this color this gray color is a color that they've chosen and uh, of course it doesn't have to be gray we can offer it in any color you like we'll probably offer it as black as standard this unit is very much designed for the installation teams that it's plug and play there's a 3m heavy heavy uh, uh, duty adhesive around the ring of this unit it pops in from the top there's a wago connector at the side which the train operator would just plug in or the train uh, installation team would just plug in and you're good to go um, and it's supplied fully fully fitted like that if you want something slightly smaller thinner we have what we call here our smc unit which is a much narrower design the, the, the panel depth is much smaller uh, but this would be supplied to you as a kit so you'd receive the charger unit the charging device and this front fascia which uh, then would have to be glued on using the adhesive that comes with it and you would then connect to that using um, the, the micro usb connector that's fitted in the device now most people are uh, would be happy to bond this from the top um, but if you need an extra layer of security uh, we can also offer it with a metal panel let me just show you this metal panel here you can uh, have a metal panel or a metal plate that actually screws from the underside as well to give an, ever an, uh, an additional layer of security now they're available in 10 watt so faster charging you can now charge your phone pretty quickly uh, with our units you can actually charge them from zero power so if you've got zero power you can still bring the phone back to life now EAO has always been built it doesn't matter if it's a, a switch a panel or a wireless charger uh, our whole reason to be is about offering solutions to our customers so uh, we understand in particular for refurbished trains that there'll be a power somewhere on the train and from that we have to try and link to that power and get them to the wireless unit so in addition to the wireless units themselves we also offer power supplies and we offer a custom cable service as well you give us the drawings of the train and we will then come back to you with the schematics of how that needs to be wired what cables you need what connectors you need and we'll even build the cables for you so this is the new 12 volt power supply which is designed for the 10 watt chargers um, if you wanted to go for the the older 5 watt chargers we can also offer a 5 volt power supply as well and the input range of that is is huge so it doesn't matter if you're running on 110 AC or 230 AC or even on this one we go down to 90 90 volts AC uh, the the range the input range we're trying to have one power supplier that can cover a multitude of inputs if you don't need four four devices that's not a problem because we have here one that runs on two devices so if you're uh, if you've got a, a, a requirement for a very small table or just for a couple of armrests and uh, maybe it's just in the first class area and you don't need to charge four chargers then we have a, a, a lower cost smaller two charging unit as well so what i've shown you here on the front of our stand is basically how we can charge um, wirelessly on tables or armrests but from the top so we're mounting the units from the top now not all table builders will want to do that sometimes they would like to have the wireless unit built uh, inside their inside their table beautiful swiss train here and here we've actually mounted the chargers from the underside uh, there's a metal plate there to stop them being removed now the benefit of charging your uh, phone wirelessly on a table or a flat surface is every train every sorry every phone manufacturer puts the receiver in a different place whilst there's a international standard now for wireless charging which is called qi which is this uh, logo here qi qi there isn't an international standard as to where the receiver is on the phone so it may be that apple is here for example samsung is here and sony is here for example now on a flat surface that's not a problem because you just move your phone around till it bleeps at you or until it buzzes and then you know you're charging with this apple phone we've got there i think this is an apple uh, iphone x or 11 and it's a large one uh, you can see that we we can do it right in the middle and it's charging now our mission at eao is to try and have a charging position on every seat of every train not every seat has the luxury of a table some have back-to-back -back airline style seating so we have to find another way then to get the charging to the uh, to the passenger and the way we do this is on this unit here which is what we call the holster unit and this this unit here is now seat back and now to get over that problem we said that the receiver in the phone is in a multitude of different positions we've now put a multiple number of coils all the way along this unit here so it doesn't matter what phone you've got any modern smartphone you plug it in it will charge there we go it's charging 
uh, if I've got a, this is an Apple, if I had a Samsung or a Sony, I put it in here, it can, it can take any modern smartphone width, even the big ones, and, and depth as well. We've got a patent on how we actually uh, uh, hold the phone in place. There are some brackets in here, which we've got a patent on. Now, we also appreciate that all uh, passengers, um, well, not all passengers, I've got wireless phones, not all passengers uh, want to charge their phone wirelessly. Maybe, maybe some crazy idea that people actually bring these things called cables with them on the trains. So if you're old school and you want a cable, uh, every unit we have here has a USB device in it as well. So I can charge my phone. I can never get these in the right way. There we go. If I charge my phone there, I can now charge it old school with a cable. Now that's not just on the seat back version. If we refer back to the table versions, which we showed you at the front of our stand, and this one that we've built into this table, there is a unit here as well at the side where we can plug in. It's always the USB connector that tends to get uh, damaged first. It's the weakest point in this charging unit. So we've designed this in a way that you can actually take this bracket out here, pull, pull out the, uh, the, 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 the USB connector to the charger and you can replace that. So we'll offer that as a maintenance part. And we also do that on this one here as well. If you unscrew this here, this drops down and there's a little interchangeable connector there which will uh, support um, maintenance requirements if the USB is damaged. If you don't want it with a USB we can blank this off as well that's not a problem. This is our slider flex version. Now this is the next generation unit here where we've actually decided to offer a unit with a with a moving arm it's just super robust there's no way you're going to remove this arm look and this allows you to operate this in a portrait or a landscape option which you can't do on the holster version. The holster is much more designed for super robust, I would even say off-highway vehicle type applications. But in a, in a train environment, the, the journey is pretty, uh, pretty stable on the tracks, thank goodness. The beauty of this is then you can charge your phone with or without a case, and you can charge your phone. Here we have this in landscape, uh, but you can also charge it in portrait. And if you look here, it can take some pretty big phones in here. Yeah, and we call this slider flex. It's a patent going through this at the moment. It also has a USB option here. It also has the iBeacon option on here. So this is something else we can offer. In addition to customized cables and power supplies, we can also offer these interface plates or brackets. So your train refurbisher has a kit of everything they need. Power supply, cable, interface brackets. We can even supply instructions of where you need to screw the holes. Now, if you're a, if you're a chair manufacturer, maybe you want to make your own integrated unit inside your own chair and you don't want the EAO uh, unit on the back well then we can sell you just the charging technology here which is our multi-coil unit and then you can then integrate that in your chair and it operates through leather it operates through plastic and most modern materials so you could actually embed it in the in into the surface of your chair but then how you mechanically mount the phone onto the uh, chair that's that, as a seat seat designer that's now that sits in your remit and we just offer this technology here. Finally, we'll talk also about uh, iBeacon. Now, each one of these chargers here is available with iBeacon. This is an additional unit that we can put in each charger, which gives you uh, the ability to communicate as a train operator with your passenger and as a passenger with your train operator, because there is then a protocol that this unit is called iBeacon. It's, a, it's a, a, quite a, a, a standard uh, technology now. It's pulsing, um, like a lighthouse and when you put your phone on here it's recognizing that uh, you have an iBeacon on your phone and if you have the train operators app in you can then check in I've now just checked into seat 43 you see here sorry seat 27 so seat 27 I've just checked into so the train operator if they've got our API they can then move they can then offer things like additional services like trolley services maybe you check into your seat so we can have a live seating reservation system just by putting your phone on here maybe it knows that you're getting off at high wickham for example and it gives you a vibration two stations before to say don't forget to get off the train or don't forget your phone but some people would leave their phones in the actual charger so there's a notification or a warning to say it's time to get off and maybe you press a button there to actually organize your own taxi as well so that's it that's the range of passenger interface wireless chargers everything you need to know about this is at eao.com forward slash passenger dash interface 